Okay, today's gonna be a goodie. Um, I, I, I love having talks with dudes who I've seen come up in the game, dudes who I've seen really live the dream because we all, you know, have these aspirations to do better with our life, coming from nothing, coming from the environments we come from. Yeah. And um, so many of us dream about hitting the hitting it out the park. And I've watched this brother do his thing in the music industry, kill a game, live the American dream. Um, hailing from Memphis, but this guy done been all around the country. Please welcome my man, my little bro, Memph Hits. Memph, yeah, what up? Yeah, what up? What up, son? What up, Prince? What's Yo, what on, up, baby? kid? Man, I'm good, bro. Good to see you doing great things, bro. I'm seeing you out here. You're doing it, baby. Like you said you was, as always. Nah, as always. You know, my goal has always been to, to live my truth, um, do interesting things, meet interesting people. And, uh, that, you know, with this with this part of my life, I couldn't ask for nothing better. Exactly. You know, sit with exactly. good people, so. I said, I know. I said, you said I'm looking a little different. I got the beard. I got the locks. I, 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 this is my uh, this is my Creed. This is my Creed three look right here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I told you, I was telling you offline. Like, yo, damn, you look different, kid. You yeah, got a whole nah, new look going yeah. on. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I get fifty mil. Then I'm gonna cut it back off. I'm gonna cut it back. I'm gonna go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yes, ain't what's up, what's man? That? Thanks for All having right, me, yo, bro. You know, man, I gotta ask you. Like I said, you you originally from Memphis, but you done lived in NY. You lived in Dallas. Um, LA. You lived in LA. Yeah, you lived yeah. in Atlanta. Like, where yeah, the hell yeah. are you these days? I'm back at home. I'm at home right now. I'm in Memphis. I'm like a tourist at home, bro. Like I'm at I'm at home. Like, look at I've been at home for maybe like two months. I'm kind of just looking for new, looking for talent, like looking for stuff here that I didn't see when I was when I was living here. You know, when I was living here, I was so hell bent on getting out of here to to say I was successful to get to, you know, I graduated from Memphis that I didn't really appreciate it. I knew we had talent, but I didn't appreciate what it was when I was trying to, I was off hustling, trying to get to a higher place in my life. So to come back all these years later and I've seen the world and I've been, I've dealt with so many different people now to come here and look and see it from a, I'm not hustling against them. I'm hustling with them now. It's kind of like, you know, it's like, I can see it. It's like, so it's like so many talented people here. So I'm just kind of a little bit at a time, I'm just kind of watching, you know, I'm kind of seeing what I, what I want to help, help out. You know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff here, but it's only certain stuff that matches with my, you know, matches with my personality. So it is what it is. That's what I'm looking for. You know, that's, that's a very interesting perspective, right? Like yeah. I know what it is to try to get out of uh, uh, where you come from and desperately try to make it in the game. But like you said, you done, you done been around the world now. You done made it in the music industry. And coming back, because right now, Memphis, like once upon a time, Memphis had 3-6 Mafia. Um, Pastor Troy's from out that way. Um, it's so many, 8 Ball and G is out that way. Yeah. Kia Shine um, exactly. out that way. But it's a whole new ball game down there. Memphis oh, yeah. is oh, yeah. killing the game right They're now. Killing it, killing it, killing it. And, it's, and it feels good to be at home around it. You know what I mean? It's like I, you can feel it. It's like a vibe in the city. It's like, you know, we got our we got our gangsters. We got our singers. We got we got everything. It's just a talented place. Like, I feel like a lot of this, a lot of the music came from Memphis back in the day. A lot of people don't understand that crossroad between rock music and R&B and Motown a lot of that stuff I mean Motown is definitely Detroit but a lot of that hardcore music blues and things like that came yep. from Memphis so the soul it's a, it's a soul it's a spirit here that that you can't that you can't deny you know so when you come in here and you can you can find anything you want it just depends on what you're looking for okay so so you coming back to Memphis now like are you seeing it with new eyes is the is the the, the new up and coming talent is it impressing you yeah, it's like it's 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 good to see from eyes that can I can I can see them. You know what I mean? It's like when I was like I said when I was here hustling, I can't you know you're one of them, so you can't you can't see it. You 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 you're trying to compete to get out of here. So it's like a you know, but to come back and see it with fresh eyes, eyes of almost like a almost eyes of a tourist. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like I'd be downtown seeing stuff I never really like. Well, this been here like this was here the whole time. Like they like nigga, you been gone forever, nigga. So I'm like good. It's glad to be home, man. So it's like. 
see, yes, it's, it's people that are impressing me. It's, I'm, I'm putting a little group, a group together right now. Three girls, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm being distributed. I got my new, my new label. I didn't want to really come back with the hits committee thing. I came back with this production company, Sound Mob uh, Productions. And I'm kind of like signing up these new, um, these new girls, uh, some singers, you know, I'm trying to bring some R&B vibes back. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, working at Beat Root. Uh, distribution with my with my OG David Port I was telling you about that uh, started yeah. this company made in Memphis Entertainment and it's like a he's such a legendary writer and legendary uh, person in the music business in Memphis to to even help have me working for him is an honor so it's like I love to be around I'm up under a record man again you know I love working for record men men that, that actually love records so between him and Isaac Hayes and Stacks, and then him starting this company he said he came back to Memphis and started kind of cultivating talent so to bring me back under his regime it's pretty cool so I'm, I'm here doing the same thing looking for artists to help with distribution uh, and influence them and help them understand the importance of being staying independent you know a lot of a lot of artists always want to jump to the boat and go major but there are so many advantages of staying independent if you if you know what you're doing and you're doing the right things and you're being guided in the right ways there's 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 gold in being and staying independent so that's what we out here promote like you're already doing your thing independently let us put steroids in your operation and that's that's how we coming at it so i'm loving to be here seeing seeing things like that and and being able to help it just feels good especially being back around my family and being around people that i actually love and it's like you know you being in cities i get love in a lot of different places and cities but it ain't the same love as or, like or, or the, it ain't the same as home and it, it, it ain't the, it's also not the same the fire that gets in me when i'm at home because i'm know, back around you know back around people that you know i i wouldn't say they think small but i'm like i'm back around people that you have to prove everything you say you're gonna do to mm -hmm. i gotta prove everything so I, that that I forgot that fire you know so to be back around in that fire and i'll say i say i'm gonna do something and people are like i don't know about that one Okay. Yo, you telling me people still doubt you with all that you did? Your resume, they but it's, still it's almost, but it, but, No, no, it, it's cool, but it's I I really feel like I I incite it because it's a part of my it's a part of what I need to if I don't have a target or if I don't have somebody telling me what's not going to work, I can't make it work. Like I need you to tell me why it's not going to work. Once you tell me why it's not going to work, then I'm going to go do what I do. If I if I still believe it, if if you if it makes logical sense what you told me, I still might still go try to do it, but it's just I need I need I need those people in my life that kind of challenge me, you know. And and this is the place, home. <laughs> you know, you know, most great people need exactly what you're talking about. They need a challenge. That that yeah. that's the stimulant. That's the exactly. thing that wakes them up in the morning. People saying what can't be done. Exactly. And, um, exactly. You you that's a thread that you find through most successful people. Um, yeah. Let me ask you something. How how old was you when you left Memphis the first time? When I first left Memphis, I was 20 years old. I think I was 20. I was 20 years old. I was about to be 21, I think. Yeah. And and you I, you went straight to I, NY? Straight to New York. Straight to New York and got my way in that building. Got my way into uh, well, I was I went to New York. I got in this school. IAR used to be over on a uh, um, Union Court uh, uh, courts. Uh, I forgot what well, you remember where the Virgin Building used to be with the rec with the records and Absolutely. They had those times the clock ticking and going up. Yeah, like going. I, I I went to a school over there, you know, over on Union Square. I uh, Institute of Audio Research and there you go. One my, yeah, one of my internships was Arista Records, and that's when I got in there. I think I was like twenty when I got to Arista. I think I was like twenty one. I was twenty one years old. Okay, so so I want you to walk me through this um, a little slowly for people who don't know your history. First and mm -hmm. foremost, you fly up to New York. You, yes. you have any friends and family up there or you just was like, F it, this is where I need to be? No, I had, I, had, I had a person that knew a person and the, that person told me I could come up there and stay on the couch for a second until her boyfriend came and put me out. I was in Harlem when I first got to New York. <laughs> He's like, bro, you can't sleep on this couch, bro. You tripping, bro. I was like, bro, you're a grown man. I was like, damn. I was like, all right. So I ended up going to Kew Gardens with this other girl. So I kind of was like on couches, like I was doing my Ray Charles thing. I was, I was, <laughs> my rent, my rent wasn't money. It was uh, the draws. So it was like, <laughs> like you gonna, she like she like you gonna pay me something. I'm like, oh my lord, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. 
So that that was the first run. It was like I was staying kind of like pillar to post, and I just was like interning at finally got interning at Arista, and you know, of course, that's where I met a lot of influential people in my life. Um, starting off with uh, Karen Kwok and Sam Lecker, and that's when I met Pitts, and I saw Pitts in his office, and I was like, "Oh my God, are you Puff?" And he's like, "No, I'm not Puff, but." That's my brother. I was like, boy, you look like him. I was like, I thought, I was like, I've been watching y'all on TV. I got family in New York. Like, hey, I work on the video floor. Can I work up here with y'all? And that's when Mark let me come up to the, told me to tell, go tell Sam Lecker and Robin. Wow, I forgot. Rest in peace to Robin. But uh, yeah, she told me to come up there and work with work with him. And I told Sam, she was like, Mark Pitts told you you could go come working on the A&R floor. I was like, yes. And he, he told me to come tell you that. So she let me go. She let me go up to the A&R floor and I just kind of slave for them you know like you know, i don't know if you remember like i just used to slave for pitts daryl jones ty v joey arbage karen kwok i was the i was the intern that was older than all the other interns but i was the master intern and, and eventually it turned into an opportunity for me so and that's where i came from what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.